Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey. Okay, we are at Spring Mountain Ranch State Park. Here we go. Just even driving in the gates. It's awesome. So oh, it's a state park. Fire dangers high. No drones allowed. The cost is $10 per car and the park is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in the summertime and 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. in the winter. Nationally registered historic district. So we are in Spring Mountain Ranch. We're in, we're in a state park for the state of Nevada. Yep. And it's and not quite as pretty as the the national park, but it's pretty nice. And it's very quiet compared to the national park. Spring Mountain Ranch is an actual working ranch, and it actually started in 1876 by James Wilson and George Henderson. It was originally called Sandstone Ranch. In 1929, William George took over and started a chinchilla portion of the farm. He also expanded the orchards and renamed the ranch the Bar Nothing Ranch. Bar Nothing Ranch uh, was bought in 1948 by radio personality uh, Chester Luck. In 1955, the Lucks sold the ranch to a German actress named Vera Krupp. Vera Krupp wanted the ranch to raise Hereford cattle and Brahmas. Vera Krupp was the one that renamed the ranch Spring Mountain. Vera Krupp lived at the ranch until 1964 and in 1967 she sold the ranch to Howard Hughes for $625,000. Could be pedestrians. I think there might be burrows. Look at that. Those, those rocks are cool, huh? The ranch is 518 acres and it's located just 10 minutes down the road from Red Rock Canyon National Park. We came to this area because we had heard that there were wild donkeys that could be found in this area and we wanted to see that. We didn't see any wild donkeys and we ran across this ranch. We didn't know anything about the ranch when we came here. There was a nice parking area and we found a place to park and then we took a nice walk around the ranch area and came across the most wonderful ranch house you could ever see. Beautiful. Yeah, it's an Overlook Trail, Lake Harriet Overlook Trail. And, uh, and it's at Spring Mountain Ranch State Park, but the trail is closed and you can't walk the trail. Yeah, we got bulls out there that ain't no bull <laughs> actually it's probably just a couple of cows and that spring mountain ranch ranch house We're at the, the 
ranch house. They got a lawn jockey. <laughs> So now we're inside of the ranch house and uh, it's still a working ranch and it's owned by the state of Nevada. Pretty nice. We were greeted in the ranch house by a wonderful park ranger who explained what some of the things in the ranch house were about. Vera Krupp was a German actress and she was married to a man named Alfred Krupp. Alfred Krupp was a German industrialist that was convicted of war crimes and so he never joined his wife here at the ranch. There are many artifacts on display like these Christmas ornaments that were handmade by Vera Krupp. Uh, many things from Vera Krupp uh, were brought back here after she passed away. Vera Krupp was the owner of a 33.6 carat blue-white diamond and the, Kr the Krupp diamond was very famous. It was also stolen by three men in 1959 they broke into the house and stole the diamond the Krupp diamond was recovered by the FBI and returned to Vera Krupp in 1968 Richard Burton bought the Krupp diamond and gave it to Elizabeth Taylor as a engagement gift the diamond was then renamed the Elizabeth Taylor diamond this is the original bathroom area. <laughs> yeah, look. That's pretty cool. There's a one. Sure. Richard Burton bought that diamond for $307,000. Elizabeth Taylor wore that ring uh, on a regular basis. Later, after Elizabeth Taylor died, the ring was sold at auction for $8,818,000. $500. Just beyond the kitchen is a museum portion of the house and it explains a lot about everything in the house. The horn from a bighorn sheep. Fox, coyote, and bighorn sheep can all be found on the ranch land. Harris, Vera Krupp, came to Las Vegas in the mid-1950s and found here solace and hard work as an active rancher that she had sought it after her tumultuous early life. We became a state park in 1974. Vera Krupp sold the ranch to Howard Hughes in 1967 for $625,000. Howard Hughes never lived on the ranch and used it for his employees Howard Hughes sold the ranch to Fletcher Jones and William Murphy for $1.5 million. Yeah, these tourist helicopters are running all along the Red Rock Canyon. That's an actual working ranch. Most of the ranch rooms are not open and uh, can be seen through the windows along the side. So Christina took some pictures through those side windows so that everybody could see what the rest of the ranch house looked like. Yeah, that used to be the pool. <laughs> you can tell by the, the coping tiles there. <laughs> That's a pretty cool old ranch house, I'll tell you. And we just kind of happened upon it by coming to a Nevada State Park. Pretty amazing.
there's us and uh, some people, some kids playing in the picnic area and there's another couple inside the ranch house. Other than that, there is absolutely nobody in this park. And it's just a really, not, really, really nice place. Fletcher Jones and Willie, William Murphy wanted to make this equestrian property and put 2,000 homes in the area. But public outcry stopped that from happening and the Bureau of Land Management started to do a study on the place. Hey, they probably ring that bell for dinner. <laughs> it's a working ranch, right? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Fletcher Jones sold the property to the state of Nevada to become a state park for $3.5 million. So as you can see, it's a dog friendly park. So if you turned around and you wanted to bring your dog, you could do that. Of course, you pick up after your dog. Hopefully everybody does. And it's, uh, it's a really nice cleared area park, a lot of picnic tables. Um, they do have barbecues, um, but they said no, cho no charcoal today. A very beautiful ranch. wonderful thing about exploring places you never heard of before sometimes is the things you will learn along the way. We never knew that the Elizabeth Taylor Diamond had a history back to an old ranch and now we do. And as you explore you learn and it makes you want to explore even more. If you liked our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.